This video is an interview with Jean-Pierre Ducharme and Armand Mercier. It is part of a series of videos that mark the celebration of the Franciscans' presence in Western Canada since 1908. These two young men are on their way to final vows. We'll find out what that means to you and to them. Welcome, Pierre. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from and what you have been doing you know, prior to your connection to the Franciscans. Well, I, um, I hail from the West Coast. I grew up in Coquitlam, BC. Uh, it took uh, many years before I, well at least it seemed like many years to me, before I came to the realization of my Franciscan vocation. Um, it was actually when I finished my undergraduate degree, which I didn't start right after high school, but about five years after that, that I came to Edmonton to study theology at Newman. And my intent at that time was to come and study as a lay person and to go into ministry and take advantage of uh, the opportunity to, to do lay ministry uh, that was offered through the formation at Newman. But soon after I arrived here, I met the friars and uh, we, well, they had me over a few times and uh, it became, became quite, quite obvious very quickly that uh, I really fit in here. And this was the life for me. It still took a couple of years before I actually entered, but the process was underway as soon as I came to Edmonton and encountered the community. So you, you said you came here um, from the West Coast, you met the Franciscans and through some social connections you, you saw something you liked. Give me, give me an idea of what some of those things are that attracted you to the Franciscan lifestyle. Well, uh, the opportunity to live in community and to be free and be myself. I think that was one of the things that really it, it took it was part of the process of me coming to the realization that I could live this vocation and it was the realization that I could live this vocation and I could be myself in this vocation. Uh, that was I, I, I wouldn't have settled for a vocation that that compromised that. And so I, I, I basically found that I, I really fit in and I enjoyed, I come from a big family so it's sort of natural for me to be with and live with a large group of people. So community life is quite a natural fit for me. Um, Let me dive in there. You, you mentioned a, a couple of times that being yourself is important to you. So, mm -hmm. That, that must line up with what your idea of ministry or your, your contribution, you know. So tell us a bit, wh what is it uh, about your own life that you feel um, you need to contribute? Well, I, I really feel that uh, I've been graced with a lot of things in life just through, through the fact that I come from a loving family. And... To, to get out there and do ministry and and to share some of the, the happiness that I, I have, that I've been graced with, uh, is really important to me. And uh, I, really, uh, I really believe that there is freedom through faith. And uh, if I can do anything to, to help others experience that freedom through their faith, then I'm answering my baptismal call and, and, and I'm a happy person as well. So. That sounds very good. Tell me, where are you in your process of becoming a Franciscan? Well, I made my initial vows last June. That means I've completed my novitiate and I've completed the come and see year that we have before that. Uh, and that was a year ago, so I'm actually... Uh, I'm well into the uh, initial vows process, or the initial vows period. And so we take um, vows annually for three years. 
minimum. It can be more, it can be three to five. And I've completed one year of, of simple vows and I will have two or three years ahead of me before I can make my final vows and then really get out there and, and work and do what I would like to do. But I'm doing it now. I'm not saying I'm not doing it now because I certainly am. Tell me, what are the vows that you take? Well, as friars, we vow essentially to live the gospel, but we do it in a traditional formula. Uh, these are called the evangelical councils, and they are basically, they go back even prior to Francis's time, and they are poverty, chastity, and obedience. So we vow to, to live the gospel without anything of our own in chastity and obedience. And so we basically do this in the context of our brotherhood. Uh, brotherhood is the front of our charism as friars. And so our life is a life together. And that's basically what it all means. If you could project, let's say, 10 years in advance, what, what would you see yourself doing as a friar? Well, that's a good question. I, I have some, some ideas. Uh, however, I've, I've, I realize all the time that I need, need to be open because our community could go many different directions and it's going to, it's going to be determined by what sort of things that my brothers want to do as well. Uh, I would like to do university chaplaincy or something to do with uh, young people and campus ministry, that sort of thing. Uh, I can see myself a little university parish and, and really just loving that and enjoying that. But uh, that will be shaped as well by what the brothers around me want to do as well. So. And where I can find a job, of course. Your humility was noted and your optimism <laughs> noted as well. <laughs>